Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm finally going to show you how to fix this annoying glitch in Pokemon Legends ZA. I know, we all hate it, but I'm here to help you as always. Before we start, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to click the bell so you'll always be updated on new tutorials. I also remind you that in the description and in my YouTube channel bio, you can find the link to join my Discord, where you'll find everything you need Need to solve your problems, or even links to download emulators and anything else you might want. I'll be there ready to answer all your questions. Now, let's start the tutorial. First, you need to download this fix package from my Discord, which you can find in this channel. Once downloaded, extract the files and click on reshade setup 6.6.2 addon.exe. A warning will pop up, don't worry, and just click OK. Here, click Browse and select your Ryujinx folder where you installed the emulator. Then, select the Ryujinx EXE. Click Next, and here, make sure to select Vulkan. Click Next again, then Next again, and once more, click Next. Finally, click Finish. Now, take the two files you extracted earlier from my package and drag them into your Ryujinx folder where the Ryujinx EXE and all the files generated by Reshade are located. Once that's done, start the game and make sure the word Reshade appears at the top. This means everything was installed correctly. Now, press the Home key on your keyboard. Then click Skip Tutorial and press the Home key again to close this screen. Otherwise, it will keep showing while you play and get annoying. And that's it. Now you can play using Vulkan and glitch free. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. I'll see you on Discord where you can download everything you need and I'll see you in the next guide.